This nonfiction book is called Tunnels. It was written by and illustrated by Gail Gibbons. Author illustrator Gail Gibbons grew up in the Midwest and then moved to New York City to work in television as a graphic artist. She started doing um, informational text, nonfiction books for young learners long ago. This one is dedicated to Bill Mittler. Most tunnels are long holes dug underground. Very small tunnels are dug by ants and worms. They live in them. Moles, chipmunks, and prairie dogs big, dig bigger tunnels. They dig their tunnels with their front feet. People dig tunnels too. Some are small and others are big. A small tunnel can be dug with your hands, a spoon, or a shovel. Most tunnels are dug by beginning in the middle and then digging both ways out or digging from both ends and meeting in the middle. There are four types of big tunnels made by people. A rock tunnel is drilled and blasted through solid rock, like in the story about John Henry. The walls and ceiling stay up because the rock is so hard it supports itself. This is the second kind of tunnel. A soft ground tunnel is dug through sand, clay, or wet ground. It needs support so it won't collapse. This is the third kind of tunnel. Most underwater tunnels are dug through mud. Their support must be very strong to hold the wet soil and water pressure from above. This is the fourth kind of tunnel. A cut and cover tunnel is the easiest to build. A deep, wide trench is dug. After the passageway is built, it is covered up with dirt. A new tunnel is being built. Let's look at what some of the steps are. A tunneling machine cuts through dirt and rock. The dirt and rock are moved away on a conveyor belt. This is a conveyor belt. A train carries the rock and dirt to the shaft of the tunnel. Supports hold the top and sides in place. The rock and dirt are lifted up the shaft. Here goes some of it right here, straight up. They are hauled away by trucks. It will take a lot of work and time to finish. Big tunnels are built in four different shapes. This is a circular tunnel, kind of a true circle. This one is called a horseshoe tunnel because the shape is like a horseshoe. This one is called a vertical sidewall tunnel. And this one is called a basket handle tunnel. There are names for the different parts of a tunnel. This part that goes up to the ground and the open air is called the shaft. This part is called the crown. These two parts are the side walls. And this part that looks like the floor has a fancy name called the invert. This cross section of the tunnel is called the face. Tunnels have many uses. Some tunnels carry water. So this pump house brings the water up from the groundwater, the groundwater table, keeps it here and then pumps it out 
through a tunnel to people's houses and farms and businesses. This different kind of a tunnel is a mining tunnel. Mining tunnels are dug deep in the ground to get coal and metal ores. So a shaft goes down sometimes quite far into the earth and then side tunnels go out so men and women can work with machinery to dig coal or iron or copper at different levels under the ground. Some tunnels go under busy streets. Others go through mountains. The author, Gail Gibbons, lives at Mount Pocono, Pennsylvania, where there are tunnels just like this one. Subway trains hurry through tunnels under cities. Tunnels are also built for people to walk through. Some of the biggest tunnels are built underwater. Sometimes they even connect two different countries. There's a tunnel under the Detroit River that connects the United States and Canada. That's the Windsor Tunnel. There's a tunnel under the English Channel, or Le Manche, that connects England and France. Animals and people have many uses for tunnels. Tunnels, tunnels, tunnels. Here at the end, Gail Gibbons packs in some interesting little facts about tunnels, 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 tunnels. Cavemen, we now know, dug tunnels to connect their caves. The first big man-made tunnel was built under a river in Babylon over 4,000 years ago. A tunnel under a river. Many years ago, people dug tunnels under the walls of forts and came up to surprise the enemy. Five great tunnels go through the Alps, mountains in, in Europe. They were blasted out of solid rock. One tunnel connects France with Italy. The first man-made tunnel in the United States was in Schuylkill Canal Tunnel uh, in Pennsylvania. It was opened in 1821. There are many mountains uh, in Pennsylvania and many tunnels that go through them. The Seikon Tunnel in Japan is being built underwater. It will be 23 miles long, the longest tunnel in the world. If you do a search for the Seikon Tunnel, you'll find out it is, in fact, the longest railway tunnel in the world. It's 34 miles long, 24 miles are under the water. It connects two of the big islands in Japan. Gail Gibbons has written so many books. So if you're interested in a topic like the modern butterfly or boats or tools or holidays, Gail Gibbons has probably written and published a book about it. The end. If you want to know more, Gail Gibbons has a website about her books and her approach to art. It's easy to remember. It's gailgibbons.com. This has been one of her wonderful books, Tunnels, written by, researched by, and illustrated by Gail Gibbons.